hello, hello, hello. I just felt a horrible sensation of something crawling down my back. That, that was, that was a not good thing. That was very not, that was very not, just not, just no. <laughs> very, very no. <laughs> As you can see, I have a, uh, a little follower goal up in the corner. Let's see if that actually works. Hopefully it will. I never tested it before because I don't know how to test it. So we'll be figuring this all out together. <laughs> this will be one hell of an experiment. But anyways, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing? Y'all doing okay? I hope you're doing okay. Oh, it looks like at least one of them is up and about. Oh, they're getting out of the corners now. That's good. That's good. That's very good to see. Nice to see them outside of the corners. So, as today's, uh, as today's title suggests, we're gonna be finishing this up. We're gonna be finishing it up. But to finish it up, we have to get up there first. <laughs> Okay, do I have, I basically have everything I want on me at the moment, so let's just, let's start figuring this out. Hello, Dizzy Daisy, hello, hello, I see that you're a, a first time follower, I just pulled my headphone jack out, I just pulled my headphone jack out, oops, <laughs> sorry, uh, my iPad is open and it was distracting me. Hello, hello, hello! It's lovely to see you! How you doing? Oh, thank you so much for the follow! Oh, uh, how about, let me just uh, do my quick little spiel. <laughs> hello, hello, hello! My name is Com Cloud. I usually just go by Cloud. Uh, I mostly stream Minecraft and uh, I sometimes occasionally draw. Uh, my pronouns are she, they, um, and I, uh, currently I have this, this build is my current project on the, the SMP I'm on, the server, and I have a hardcore world that I also am making damn good progress in. I am, uh, I'm 30 days into my hardcore world, which is really, really cool, and how am I doing now? Um, I'm a little bit tired. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a little, I'm a little bit tired, but eh, I'm in a good mood. I'm I'm down for a good vibe. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing good. I just have to figure out good combinations for this. Hey, combust! <laughs> okay, how about I play? How about I? Play hardcore tomorrow. Is that is that a good compromise? <laughs> is that a good compromise? Yeah. Also, from this angle, this looks freaking fantastic. I I probably should do some revisions over here and put more dark oak and spruce more visually. Uh, like especially closer to the top because of how much I made it a visual theme here. It looks like that hole I dug in my backyard when I was seven. <laughs> well, that's descriptive. <laughs> that is certainly descriptive. <laughs> okay, up to. Uh, let's make this. Let's make that. Nope. Uh, there. That's a. That must have been a very strange looking hole. Oh, speaking of holes, we should probably come up with a name for this. Because calling it the big hole 
is just... I'm pretty sure you can understand why it probably needs to be changed at some point sooner rather than later. Not gonna lie, this is super impressive. I can't even build a decent house. It it takes time and it takes pra it takes patience, practice, and yeah, it takes a lot, a lot of patience. Um, I did this section of the wall first, but at, at <laughs> But after after I finished this and did like the bottom portion of that and the the startings of uh, a shelf mushroom over there, I didn't work on this for like a year, <laughs> which is a is a is a doof on my end because I I, I didn't work on it for a year. <laughs> Yeah, I don't- I don't know why I just stopped working on it. I think I was just getting very, very bored of it, and I, I was just having a hard time finding the motivation to work on it. Hey, asking for it. How you doing? How you doing? It's building day. It's building day. Or it's a building day. How's your trip across the nation, uh, across the continent going? I hope it's do. I hope it's going good. Okay, I should probably start incorporating more heavy wood elements, like here-ish, and put some fencing in. And of course, start, just seriously start replacing the background with better blocks. <laughs> uh, okay. And ba 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 ba. Ooh, you got offered a job for long for long haul trucking. That's awesome. That's really cool. Congrats. Uh, okay. Ba ba and ba. Do do where there's my mossy, there's my mossy cat apple stone. That's really awesome to hear. Congrats. Hello, Sish. Hello, hello. Nice to see you. How you doing? How are you doing? fine. Noth nothing to, uh, nothing really to write home about. Just a little tired. Oh. Uh, just talking about stuff. Uh, asking for got offered a, a really nice job, which is pretty damn neat and pretty damn cool. And I want to put that there. Do I have Stairs. Oh, shoot. Oh, beep, beep. Let's go back up and redo that. <laughs> I, I swear I have stairs. Ouch. My ankles. My ankles. Where's my... There it is. Okay. Okay, I do not, in fact, have stairs. Um, I will fix that. What? Why is that all the way down here? It's not very cash money of me. It's not very efficient of me, either. <laughs> it's very inefficient of me, actually. Uh, as you can see, I have a follower goal. So let me catch you up on what the follower goal is. I'm pretty sure I'll be... I'm pretty sure I'll be changing this format sometime soon because it's not my favorite. I could definitely do better. Uh, so the goal is if I, uh, when really, 
I hit 100 followers, I will I will read live on stream the most infamous fan fiction the internet has to offer. My immortal. That that yep that that my immortal. <laughs> Uh, the idea got started, uh, by Combust and a different viewer who seems to not be here, which is fine. Yeah, by you! <laughs> uh, it was started, the idea was started, uh, when I think they were talking about fanfiction at the time. I need to read the OG. I think I want to save some of my shock and horror for the actual day I read it. <laughs> I don't want to- I don't want to spoil myself to the horror. Multi-use trucking gases to giggle bush. Oh, that's neat! I don't want to spoil- I don't want to- No, like when you read it on stream, read the OG. Oh, uh, the spelling mistakes included? That- that's my- that's my intention. I'm- I'm going full full spelling mistake territory because uh, a little nitpick of mine when it comes to reading fanfiction because I am an avid fanfiction reader is that too frequent spelling mistakes uh, drive me up the wall and can very easily turn a fairly decent fanfic concept into literal I can't read this I have to click out of it <laughs> that is gonna be an interesting experience. That's gonna be an interesting reading experience. Just off of my own my own preferences alone. So, oh boy! Hoo hoo! This will be an interesting thing. Does it make any sense? No. Do I like- do I like it anyways? Yes. Duh. Alright. Nope. That's not alright. Ouch. Uh, I think I should just like put some there. Yeah, that sounds like a good- that sounds good. Or looks good, really. Oh! We have a new follower! That means you get a flyby around the base! Or at least the top side of the base. So! Oh, let me get higher. Alrighty! So this is my dark oak farm. This is my bee farm. This... Uh, this little- this guy, is there a- ooh, how long does it take you to get all the materials for the hole? I actually, uh, I was very clever, or at least smart, in that I, uh, I beforehand gathered just a shitload of resources and things that I might need for this build, and I just chucked them into these boxes, uh, into these chests. But I also, uh, do do do, let me go to my storage area real quick so I can show. Um, just digging the hole out led to just a lot of just alone cobble. So I have a lot of that resource, but I also have, I also have a fairly regenable amount of, uh, moss as well as several farms to keep up the supply of wood. So I, I very careful, I very deliberately planned a lot of the stuff to be in, that's in this, in this, in this giant build to be per, to be easily accessible to me. Um, the part that was expensive was the redstone lamps and that was a bit of a, I'm just realizing something. Oh, I have to put those lamps behind... Put them deeper inset into the wall. 
You know what? It, that's a problem for not for later. Yeah, uh, later in the stream. I will find that Enderman one day, and it will be its last day. I swear it. Okay, I didn't finish up the uh, top the top part of the base's uh, tour. It must have taken forever to get everything. Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember exactly because it was over a year ago at this point. But it took several weeks to get just the starting amount of materials. What? Let me roll that back. It took several... A, near a month to dig this out. <laughs> just this hole. It took a month to dig that out. Because it was either just me or a a couple friends pitching in every so often to help dig out some sections of it. It was mostly just me, and I didn't have- I still don't have a beacon. I was seriously considering fighting the wither, uh, or asking someone if they have a spare beacon for me to borrow, just so I could dig this thing out faster. <laughs> um, I also had, at the time, a very efficient uh, moss farm. I recently, uh, I'm recently starting to, uh, well, frankly, I'm starting to think of different areas where I can make a better moss farm, but, because the one in the, the area that I originally had was on top of lava, which you can probably guess, you can probably guess why that was a bad idea. <laughs> but anyways... This is my spruce farm. I quite love him. He is very lovely. And this is the newest addition to all my farms. I built this guy all on stream. He is my sweet berry farm. I love him. A lot, of, a lot of the people in chat actually helped me pick out the color scheme. Which, thank you, ow. Thank you. It was a fantastic idea. I love this so much. <laughs> Just gosh darn so pretty. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the top part of the base. Uh, going through the bottom part of the base would take a good 20 minutes, but you know what? We might have time, I think. We might have time, but I think I want to dig this out, this area out first. Uh, come on. There we go. So the, uh, way I dig, the way I do this is I dig out the slice of cobble, uh, the slice of, co of stone I want to, uh, replace, and then from the top up, and then I go bottom to top when it comes to replacing them. It's just a way that I found that makes it less tedious on my brain, because the, w the way I used to do it was that I did it piecemeal by piecemeal, so I would dig out a section, and then I would replace the blocks, and then I would dig out a section, and then replace the blocks, and it just, it was very, very tedious and very, very not fun. Ouch. So yeah, uh, this way I find is a lot less boring on my end, and also I think probably a lot faster. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that's my logic for that. Uh, okay, so that's dug out. Let me do a bit of a a, a base a base tour. So I will try to do this quite quickly. Um, this is my enchanting table area. I, I'm so, this is one of the best things I've ever built in my opinion. <laughs> this is my enchanting. Uh, this is all the stuff that I hold for enchanting stuff. Uh, mob grinder. I get a shitload of vo villagers, zombie villagers from this. So many, in fact, that I have contemplated just killing the villagers instead of save the zombie villagers instead of saving them, because I am, I have 
far too many. <laughs> I have legitimately one of the biggest vill villages on the uh, on the server, I think. And most of them are farmers or stonemasons. <laughs> uh, you just saw my cactus farm. Sorry, well, about that. Uh, this is an animal farm. I really need to breed up my chickens again. And hatch the eggs, too. Uh, you previously saw my storage room. This is also one of the best things I've ever built. <laughs> and this is my axolotl tank. The guys have finally unstuck themselves from the damn corners, at least partially. So there's a glitch with axolotl AI where they'll just shove themselves into corners. And I'm pretty sure my other axolotls are doing that at the, as, as we are speaking. But I'll show you that later. Uh, these, this is also storage. I'm, it's a, it's a, it's a thing. Anyways, here are my babies. Here are my froggies. They got names. This is Milo. This is Mickey. And this is Minnie. Uh, my, 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 uh, my viewers at the time, uh, well, not my, uh, some of my, some of my viewers named him. They are adorable. I adore these guys so much. They were a pain in the ass to get, but I love them so much. Here is Jackass. He was a pain in the ass to get into this, to get into this pen. Okay, let me give you the story behind because I feel like that requires some explaining. So, this guy originally was a baby zombie villager, which, pretty cool, pretty cool. But I, like an idiot, <laughs> I, like an idiot, cured him before I moved him to this because I wasn't sure if, he, if the baby zombie villager would stay in here because a key part of the way I keep these guys in here is that I can sneak in and sneak out at my leisure, but they can't. But baby zombie villagers are really tiny. So they'll be able to easily escape. So I stupidly cured the guy, waited for him, waited for the baby to grow up into an adult and then, and then, I had to figure out how to get that guy, the villager, to into this pen. The, the entire, the entire ordeal is a highlight on my channel. I'm, I think, I think that it's a highlight on my channel. If not, then I will make that a highlight on my channel. Because that was legitimately... One of the hardest things I had done in a while. Anyway, this is future storage. There's nothing here yet. Uh, I'm thinking that these areas might become more villager stalls. Uh, not decided on that quite yet. Uh, I got it. I got it. I got a glass bridge. I can see my babies. Anyways. Here is one of the many stone stonemasons. This is Garion. I named him after granite because that's a theme that I like doing. Uh, these are my two horses. They became obsolete after I got my elytra, but I still love them. This is Stripe, Asmund Fora. Uh, help me name him. I love him quite dearly. This is Nugget. I don't know why I named him Nugget, but I love him. Quite lo I quite I quite love him very much. He's- I love him. <laughs> this- I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. <laughs> and they- Ah, looks like- yeah. Okay, so these are some of my- these are some of my- these are some more of my axolotls, sorry. Yeah, my brain just said no to sentence there. The sentence is there for a bit. Uh, there's more of them in, than what is shown right here because there's more than two. They're probably just shoving themselves into a corner over there. Uh, we will get there real quick though. Alrighty. 
This is Dorianite. He's named after both Andesite and Diorite. Because he sells- because I get money for both of them. Where are the others? I'll investigate that later. Uh, more villager stalls, obviously. <laughs> uh, do 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 do. This is Birdie the second because Birdie the first stole my elytra and I had to execute him for high crimes and misdemeanors. This is Reginald Reginald Reggie Root. I just got jump scared by the music. Uh, he sells beetroots. This is Alexander. He uh. I give him potatoes and he gives me emeralds. He is a he's named in tribute of uh, Technoblade. Uh, this is Venturo. I named him that because Venturo means good luck or good charm in I think Italian because that sounds very Italian. But anyway, Fortune Two, Riptide Three, and Silk Touch. This buddy. Oh oh oh! This buddy. And this is Ace. He is a Fletcher. And, you know, classic Fletcher trades and stuff like that. This is Stoneson. He also gives granite and stone. I give him. I can give him stone and granite. I was just getting very bored with the GAR names. This is Garrett. He also gives me. I also give him granite. This is Wheaton. This is Kerton. That's Hampson. This over here is Beatty. He's also a beetroot villager. Sibel. <laughs> These are more of my axolotls. And you can see very clearly uh, about the axolotl shoving themselves into a corner. AI glitch I was talking about earlier. And all three of them are trying to shove themselves into the same corner. <laughs> it's really funny. Oh, that's where the villa. Uh, and this is Uno. He is my first ever villager. And you can tell he's the first because I put so much more care into his pen than I did any of the others. There is straight up, there's straight up glowberries in here. I worked so hard on this little area. I prepped this area so much for him. And I love him so much. But first off, I gotta go kill that I gotta go kill that Enderman. Because this is a strictly not Enderman friendly house. There we go. Uh, this is campfire area I have set up. Can't remember why I set it up. But either ways, this is the smeltery area. Eh. This is the sleeping area. And this is my first ever axolotl. Well, not my first ever axolotl tank. These are my first two ever axolotls in this in the on this server. I love them so much, and the reason why there's two of them instead of four, like I originally had, was because uh, the 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 two uh, uh, drowned on land because axolotls. Uh, we'll start suffocating after five minutes on land. So yeah. That area wasn't a tank originally, it was a pond. So that's what happened to them. This is layer one of my massive farm that I mined by hand. Because I'm a freaking idiot like that. Okay, so layer one, two... Three, four. I'm currently digging out layer five. Okay. Holy farm, indeed. <laughs> I have a lot of farm space because I have a lot of farmer villagers, and I do not regret that whatsoever because I love this area. I love it so much for no reason. But something I also do is that when I get like patches of, uh, I find patches of granite and diorite and andesite, I will dig it out so I can sell it to my stonemason villagers because, pardon me, because uh, they, because if I give them like 
what I consider junk blocks, andesite, diorite, granite, they give me emeralds. Which is a pretty damn good trade for blocks I don't use. <laughs> Uh, I think that's everything. Uh, I tried to get through that as quickly as I possibly could. Because I know that this- oh, fuck. My potion area. Oh, my potion area. Oh, I never replanted. Oh, I gotta fix that. <laughs> Sorry, I farmed this area- I farmed my- my nether wart and just never- I just never replaced it. Oh. Uh, the, this area, the nether wart farm and the potion area is legitimately one of the, I think one of the coolest things I've ever built. It is just so pretty, but I also really love how I dealt with the fact that I had fairly limited resources. This, I ran out of this block of the, this block while I was doing this section, so I was like, oh shit, okay, I have quartz, stairs, I'll just replace this section with quartz, and it looks so good. It looks good! I love it so much. Anyways, I should probably get back to the building. You know what this uh, stream is about. <laughs> yes, indeed, that is what I should probably be doing. Uh, do, 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 do. I can probably ditch the dirt and do so I can have more room for uh, inventory so I can place blocks and stuff. I should, I should move this. Ah, watch it go, watch it go, and watch it disintegrate. Time to build up. I think that's enough. <laughs> eh. Okay, uh, let's just place those and place those. Something I also had a ha I did a ha um, made a good habit of, uh, cutting out areas where lanterns would be needed uh, before I start before I started any building. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. Do 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 do. Okay, that's good. Oh, wait. Has anyone seen House of the Dragon? Uh, my mom and I watched uh, episode two last yesterday, and oh boy. Oh my, I am enjoying this. I am really enjoying House of the Dragon. So, uh... Uh, do you guys want me to explain what House of the Dragon is? That's just like a, a bit of a recap. Uh, I need a bit of re-upping on materials. Hmm. I can probably put those back. And cobble. Let me go grab some moss. You haven't seen it? Okay, I'll keep spoilers to a minimum. I love... I'm really loving the costumes. Uh, even though I never watched the original uh, Game of Thrones television, I loved going through Michelle Cla Clapton's work, who, uh, Michelle Clapton is a brief introduction. She was, she, she was the main, uh, costume designer for Game of Thrones and I love her work on that show. It set high standards from it set high standards in my opinion. And so far I think 
that House of the Dragon is living up to it so far. One of Rhaenyra, uh, one of the main characters, Rhaenyra's dresses, uh, I wasn't the biggest fan of. I could see where she, they were kind of going for a bit of a, I think a bit of a dramatic collar Elizabethan look. I could tell that they were kind of going for that, but they could have gone a little bit harder in my opinion. But otherwise, I love the costumes in this. And the dragons! The dragons are so cool! Uh, do, 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 do I have, um, I, uh, need more stone bricks. Yeah, I like those. I am enjoy, I'm enjoying this. Quick warning about episode one, though. Um, there is a very disturbing scene of childbirth, uh, of a cesarean section. In episode one, uh, I'm giving you a fair warning about that because I wasn't warned and I, I was very uncomfortable and I, I, <laughs> I quite literally covered my ears and looked away from the screen. Uh, I missed a good chunk of what was, uh, the, it was switching between the, the, the birth and the, uh, and a different oh, scene. Uh, I missed a lot of the other scene that was uh, intermixed with it. Uh, I'm warning you now. It, it's 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 gruesome. So just a fair warning. Uh, Cause I, yeah, just be warned about that. But otherwise, I'm really loving it. <laughs> I am really truly loving the the show so far. Ah, do 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 do. Okay, I'm pre I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear me ramble more about the show, especially because I'm I know I have a bit of a bad habit when it comes to spoilers, and I've seen too many medical shows to to are about stuff like that. I'm still a fair warning. Uh. <laughs> I don't. The thing is, I know I'm. I can. I'm usually pretty bad. I'm. I always try to be more mindful about spoilers because it, I know it's something I'm not the greatest at. <laughs> Oops. Care? What do you mean? Uh, do, 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 do. Where are the rest of my? Where the... I said R instead of care. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's just a simple spelling mistake. Uh, do 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 do. I thought I made like a a boatload of uh. I thought I made a boatload of mossy cobble. Did my brain just edit the data? Edit that out of my memory? It's so very rude, editor. <laughs> I love my elytra so much. Uh, I'm I'm loving it so much. Oh, are you in the Minecraft? Uh, uh. Uh, MCC championship sort of in the know Are you are you? Because what if if not what I'm gonna say after, next I I'm I'm it's not gonna make any sense <laughs> um. Okay, I should probably switch Okay, uh, then I'm gonna uh, explain a bit before uh, I jump right into my excitement. So MCC is a Minecraft is is, abbrevi is ouch is the abbreviated form of Minecraft Championships, uh, and Minecraft Championships is like a, a very fun uh, thing where a lot of uh, friends and Minecraft YouTubers and streamers and all the like uh, compete in mini games uh, for mostly fun. 
Uh, and recently, there has been announced that there is uh, an, uh, a server version of all the MCC games, and uh, I, I signed up for the beta a bit ago, and I'm uh, I haven't been I haven't been whitelisted yet. I'm pretty sure I'm just I'm pretty sure I just need to do a bit more research to make sure that uh, I actually signed up for the beta. But I'm I'm very very excited. I can't wait to play the games. I'm super excited, and I just ah I cannot wait. It's been something that has been I'm. Uh, <laughs> I have way too much energy when it comes to MCC, as my as my family will attest to. <laughs> my family will very much attest to the fact that I have way too much energy for MCC. <laughs> uh, doo, 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 doo. Yeah, I'm really really excited. I'll probably do a bit more research into uh, into it uh, to make sure that I did everything correctly and didn't uh, unintention uh, unintentionally screw anything up in my application. Uh, but either ways, I am very very excited to uh, to to just get in and play uh, some of the games that are currently in a uh, beta that's uh, accessible accessible on the island so far. Okay, getting closer to the top. Let's increase. Let's increase the presence of wood now. Uh, oh, I might need to re up on my pre on my red on my redstone lamps. Oh, it's been a while since I last did that. Oh my! Ooh. I I know. Well, at least my pre Oh, hello, Lauren Ray. Hello, hello. I see that you're a first time chatter. It's lovely. To, it's lovely to see you here. And thank you so much. Uh, this has been a project I procrastinated far too much on, but I love how it's coming about. How long? How well it's coming about. Uh, there's still some things I need to fix. Uh, I'm, I need to fix, I need to move a lot of the lanterns a bit further and set into the wall and increase the presence of logs and wood into this side of the build, but oh my goodness, I'm so happy about how this is coming about. <laughs> uh, okay, you have nothing there. Where did my stairs go? Did I just... Oh yeah, this took a while to dig out. Um... Okay, th it goes... Uh... From water level, it is 60 too high. 60 blocks to... 62 blocks high, and... Do 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 do. To the deepest part that's like that I can walk on, it is 19. Uh, I just remembered my Alexa wasn't muted. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, 62 minus 19. That is 43 blocks high. As you can probably guess from that height, it is quite deadly. Uh, I like. Uh, bopping mo uh, mobs off the edge is, is like if they're on the top I bop them off the edge just for my own pure enjoyment <laughs> it's just like oh, oh and you go and you die bye bye <laughs> it's just a, it's just a little bit of enjoyment I get out of having such a stupidly big thing <laughs> how long did it take to gather all the materials um Oh boy, um, I usually, uh, gather the material, um, the first big load of materials that I need, needed to get took a couple, uh, in, uh, IRL days to gather, 
um, I think at least, it, uh, to give some context, I built some, uh, I took a very long break from the start of this build to now, <laughs> so I built this section and the bottom parts of this area first, and then only more recently that I started working on this again, uh, officially I started this project last year, mid last year, so this, but the, re but the reason why it took so long is entirely due to my own procrastination. <laughs> no other excuse. I was just, my brain couldn't stand how I was uh, building it previously, and so I thought, okay, I'll just take a break for a bit. I'll just take a break for a bit. And then a bit turned into, um, turned into a year. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a bit, uh, yeah, that was, that was, uh, not, not my proudest moment. <laughs> because this was, this really still is, frankly, one of the coolest things I've ever built. Especially because originally I was just like, oh, what if I just like, uh, just like build a giant circle? Just think of a giant circle. Why not? What what could go wrong? And then several days later, I was like, oh, what if I dig this out entirely and just have like a really really big hole? Uh, but I at the time didn't realize just how deep my base was underground. So, when I started digging, I realized, Oh shit. Oh shit, this is, this is gonna be massive. Uh, there's actually a, you, on the, okay, there's a map closer towards the middle of the server. And you can see this thing from the map. You can't miss it. So, yeah, it's quite large, and I, one thing I'm frankly more surprised about is the fact that I got this thing to be a per, a good circle, because, uh, circles are hard, so very hard to get correct. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, anyways, how you doing? How you doing? Uh, hell, uh, new, uh, uh, chatter, Lauren Ray. Is it okay if I call you Lauren? Uh, let's just place back with this. Something that I also, uh, I'm doing now that I didn't do before was that, oh, well, I'm noticing now, but I increased so much in my building ability from a year ago to now because this was built first and you can probably see some areas where I probably should have paid a bit more attention to where I was putting slabs and such and I probably and where areas where I probably should have dug out into the back and further into the back to have a better look and also I didn't originally put as much wood as I'm doing now. You can, you, this area is actually a pretty good uh, show of how much I've changed in my building capabilities, which in of itself is pretty damn cool. <laughs> like having a physical representation of how much you changed and grew as a builder, it's pretty dang cool. Yeah, this is fine. I'm doing good. Had a bit. Ooh, you had a big party? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, what was the party about? Oh, uh, was it just like a really cool get together? Was it a celebration? How'd it go? Was it for you or for, was it for you or for someone else? Do, do, do. Hmm. I need more redstone torches. Okay. Pretty sure I have some stray sticks that can be drafted into becoming redstone torches. What is this? Oh, okay. 
I never really got this far into the playlist. I usually restarted the restarted the playlist over so I could uh, get to some of my more favorite songs. So this is actually pretty cool. I like this song. Very triumphant. And where are my redstone lamps? They're in lighting, right? Yeah. Oh, I think that'll tide me over for now, I think. Yeah, but I definitely overcompensated with the torches. <laughs> yep, it was a, a great uh, get-together for my dance classes. Uh, starting back up, it went really good. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, speaking of classes, uh, I'm starting college soon, and I have a lot of feelings on that. I'm mostly nervousness. <laughs> Uh, I'm not like moving away for college. It's it, it's uh, um, going online, and it's a college that's nearby. So I'm ter I'm not terrified, just very nervous. I'm uh, being exceedingly caught, being very vigilant. Uh, I'm. This is very loud. This is very loud. Okay, I love the song, but it has to tone itself down a little bit. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the word I would describe as my, myself as is nervous. Yeah, I'm really, I'm real, I'm both excited and nervous because this is, this is new and it's, and it's, God, I'm, oh my God, I have a lot of emotions about it. Yeah, that's a pretty good way to describe it. I have a lot of emotions about it and I don't know how to describe half of them. Because mo most of them just leave me feeling, leave me, uh, wordless to describe them. <laughs> Look. That ha the scaffolding has to go. The scaffolding unfortunately has to go because it's it's not finished. I repeat, it is not finished still. But we're getting far closer than why what I had. Uh, what classes am I going to take? Um, uh, one of them is a required class that every student has to take. Um, uh, one thing, uh, class readiness, something, something, I can't remember at the top of my head right now. Um, English 101 and intro to social media one, because social media, sociology, and just, like, that realm of, uh, study quite intrigues me, so I'm very, so, that's why I think I'm gonna be focusing my areas of study, uh, yeah, I definitely need to introduce some of the dark oak and spruce into this. But I definitely need to fix the lantern situation here first. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited about the classes I, uh, I picked out. Um, I didn't need to do that. I'm very excited about the classes I picked out. I don't want to uh, specify too much about my classes because I uh, would quite like to keep a lot of my, uh, especially my school life, a bit more private. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, I'm also pretty sure that I can't remember it at the top of my head because, uh, the best way I would describe, uh, myself, uh, was at, uh, when it came to signing up for classes, uh, I would describe myself as an early bird. Because I think, I, uh, because I... I, I was very impatient and I signed up for my classes like three months ago at this point, I think. Yeah, I think I signed up for my classes about three months ago, which is insane to think about, honestly. Ouch. Yay. Okay. I will someday turn this into the shelf mushroom it was this destined to be. Someday, 
when I figure out how to build a mushroom. <laughs> I mean, I have a good start. I have a good start. I fully acknowledge I have a good start. It's just that I don't know how to follow through on my good start. Oh, shit. There we go. Water physics. I really should go... It's getting kind of late. I'm really tired. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, have a good day or a good night, considering you said it's late. But anyway, uh, sleep well and have a good night. Whoop. Going back, back, back. And whoop. Do, 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 do. Shit, okay, well, that's some. I okay. Let's go up. Break that. And yeah. Oh, I love my elytra. I won't be able to do half the stuff I want to. <gasps> it wouldn't be a stream. It wouldn't be one of my streams if I didn't almost fall to my death. Why is that the common theme between all my streams? That might be saying more- that- that says a lot about me. That says a lot about me. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Uh, go back there, go back there, and boop! Okay. Let's thread this be- Bleh! <laughs> that is not what I meant to say. I meant to say, let's thread this biot, but it just came out as yeah. I have school starting soon, so I should probably go to sleep. I hope college goes well for you. Good luck. Thank you. I hope school goes well for you as well. Have a good day. Or good night, depending on where you are in the uni universe. Okay. Uh, let's put that there. Boop, beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep. <laughs> yeah, that's a failure. <laughs> I'll just leave the scaffolding. I have more than enough. <laughs> I have more than enough to be a bit spend thrifty. Du, 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 did I run out of? I reached the end of it. Ha! Okay, going all the way back to the beginning. Ha! God, doesn't this just sound like nostalgia? <laughs> oh, hey -hoo. Hey -hoo. Yeah. Okay, it looks like there's one more. And I could move on to more to one of the quote unquote corners. Do not lead to water, thank you. Thank you for being uncomplicated. Okay. There we go. And yeet. two that I a couple up there that I have is I'm, I'm finding I'm finding visual issues with that is not what I wanted 
let's go back up and No, no bueno. Oh, Bo! <laughs> Woohoo! That was a no good. Ouch! I didn't like that. <laughs> Catch me sticking leaves in places where I didn't like. Where leaves make everything better. Yeah, leaves make everything better. That's my philosophy. That's my, <laughs> that's my philosophy. That's my philosophy. Something I'm also in think uh, thinking about playing with a bit is making this area just a bit more intentionally messy is the word that I'm inclined to use. Like, it's not perfect, perfect, perfect circle. It's a, it's a, it's a bit rougher than that. I, yeah. That's something I'm thinking about going for. So, like, leaf blocks and just like stuff because this area isn't perfect it's kind of it's a it's just a wee bit it's it's organic it, it's it's by nature it is imperfect expecting perfection from something that was organically grown is just a fool's errand and frankly stupid and absurd unless you're like Louis the Fourteenth, to built Vers, uh, whichever French king built Versailles. Look up pictures of Versailles, the Palace of Versailles. To ouch, ouch. Okay, I'm gonna get more leaves and stuff some of this into a chest, one of the chests over here, so I can have more fun flying by and placing down leaves. It's just, this part is just purely for fun. Is it uh, more efficient doing that way? Probably not. <laughs> is it more fun that way? We'll see. No, 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 no. Yeah, nice. Now, first thing to do, let's get to flying. Uh, I should get my leaves in my inventory first. but do I care? No. Ooh, I should also, like, uh, let me go grab some, uh, spruce. I go grab some spruce logs. 
because I was too lazy at one point to just get more spruce logs. And I had dark oak on me, which looked close enough from a distance. I was like, oh, okay, I'll just use dark oak for a bit. And Jin and I just never went back, so I should probably grab some spruce logs. I should also probably re-up on my spruce logs. Making a note of that. Uh, let's do some crafting. Uh, let's make some stairs. You yeah, know, for funsies. Shoved into a corner, shimmy into a corner, shimmy. Yeah! There we go. <laughs> that was probably exceedingly dangerous of me. But I don't care. I'm having a good old time being a dangerous little failer. When did I become Southern? <laughs> when did that happen? Well, the wood planks were a good idea. They kind of sucked. And I will commend myself for making an attempt. But I just did, I just did not. It just... I just did not. <laughs> Fuck it, okay, that's close enough. That's close enough to what I want! I did not like that! I think also a good thing for me to do would be to just shove myself into the occasional corner and just replace some of it with with wood planks and planking. I want 
want some more... I want more wood. Okay.
side by side by. Going over with these and sticking them out, and just doing some more uh, uh, pop out -y stuff certainly has a good look to it. I shouldn't probably, I probably shouldn't make stepping stones that that obvious. <laughs> trade out my light duration three for something a little a uh, little softer I'm, I'm gonna switch them out for uh, flight duration one I don't need such powerful rockets <laughs> oh those were flight duration one okay I'll just grab some more then <laughs> Where the all their rockets are we using? Okay, uh, put some more spruce. Yeah. It look like, what does it look like shaders? What does it look like shaders? What does it look like with shaders? <gasps> oh, that is, oh. Oh, let's switch that to something else. Let's switch that. Something else. Oh, that reaction time. Okay. I'm just gonna. Oh. I think. I think that's a good way. To end off stream. Yeah, I think that's a good way to end off stream. Uh, I think. Uh, quickly turning off my shaders. <gasps> oh, hello! You just came. You just got here. Well, let me show. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show. You, let me show you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, hold on. My oh, God, look at that frame rate. <laughs> It's running completely smooth on my end, but, but, oh, hey, ha, ha, Ooh, look at that. <laughs> I'm very happy about how this came out. I'm very happy about how this has come into fruition. I still have a lot to work, to, a lot of work to do on it, 
Um, I have to spruce <laughs> spruce up some areas to make sure that they are. It's running smoothly on my pe on the non-stream monitor side, but it's it it it's running it's running my PC's running smooth. Streamlabs is not. Streamlabs is very much not running smoothly. <laughs> I still have a lot to do when it comes to like building and such. I still have to add some spruce and dark oak and just add more wood in general to the build. Uh, OBS com OBS's complexity scares me, and I've been using uh, I've been using Streamlabs for literally more than a year. It scares me. <laughs> it scares me. Um, so that's there's that. <laughs> I've been thinking about switching to stream elements because it seems to uh, be a fair, uh, pretty good on uh, as well. Uh, but I just haven't had the time. <laughs> Something else I wanted to do when it comes to this build is, uh, first off, make a build a mushroom. Uh, build a mushroom here, a, a nice shelf mushroom here. It's something I've definitely talked about before, uh, and I just have to do some experimental building to make sure I know how to build a shelf mushroom, especially quite a large one, before I uh, go and make attempts here and possibly build something I'm not happy with because if I'm not happy with it then I'm going to not want to work on it or work on it further so there's that uh what else what do I want to do oh uh make this uh, add some more blocks to just like the entirety of this uh, just kind of blend uh, the walls into the ground, but also make the ground a bit more uh, dipped. I don't know how to really describe it, but like make it a bit of a crater-ish. Make it go down a bit. Uh, it's because I turned shaders off. It's running smooth because I turned shaders off. Uh, <laughs> uh, shaders takes a lot out of my PC to hand. It takes a lot out of my PC. So when it comes, so if I'm stream, uh, if I'm streaming, then it just it just, shaders just drags down the speed. Yeah. Um. Well, uh, let's actually. Uh, I will be ending soon. But 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 but, I want to raid. I want to raid. <laughs> I want to raid someone, so stick, so stick around, stick around. Uh, uh, thank you again to my newest follower, uh, Dizzy Daisy. Thank you so much for following, and thank you so much, so so much, and thank you, NB, for the com. Uh, thank you to everyone, frankly, for the compliments you've been giving to my build. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a YouTube VODs channel that I uh, upload my VODs to. I have a TikTok, a Twitter, a Discord channel, and- oh, not a Discord channel, a, uh, Discord server that I and my friends are a part of. Uh, what? Uh, hold. Alrighty. So. <laughs> We're gonna be raiding NB because why not? Ah, <laughs> uh, did you do? Well, uh, I hope I hope that you all have a good night, sleep tight, and of course, don't let the bedroom check it out, folks. Bye.